Today in our 2011 Chevy Equinox, we'll be installing the draw tight hitch, part number 36408. This is what our hitch will look like once it's installed. Next, we'll go ahead and give you a couple measurements to assist you with selecting accessories for your new hitch, such as a draw bar, a bike rack, or cargo carrier. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is 5 inches. From the top of the receiver tube to the ground is 13 inches. Now let's go ahead with installation. Next, we'll point out the attachment points for the hitch. Each one of the attachment points for this application will be weld nuts built in by the manufacturer. We'll have a total of six attachment points, two in the bumper beam, and two on each frame rail. First, before we install the hitch, we'll need to remove the rear fascia door. By pressing on the plastic pins underneath the bumper, we can slowly pry and remove the fascia door from the bumper cover. Before we in attempt to install the hitch, We'll first clean out the weld nuts in the frames. To do this, we'll use spray lubricant and a half inch nylon tube brush, part number 814092, and thoroughly clean out the threads of the weld nuts. Quick tech tip, I also recommend to take one of the new fasteners and go ahead and thread it into the weld nut to make sure it's free and clear of dirt and debris and that the hitch and hardware will install easier. Now we're ready to go ahead and put our hitch in place. It's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you hold the hitch while you install your fasteners. We'll be securing the hitch with the new 12mm bolts and half inch conical tooth washers with the teeth of the washer facing the hitch. We'll install each fastener finger tight at this time. Now with all six fasteners installed, we're ready to go ahead and tighten them down. Next, we'll go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated in instructions. And that'll complete the install of our draw tight hitch part number 36408 on our 2011 Chevy Equinox.